internet, welcome to Game Theory! This episode is all about loot box systems. Do loot boxes actually lie, manipulate, and steal by creating situations where gamers, especially young gamers, are tricked into gambling without knowing it? The science. And science doesn't take sides. By making players anticipate an eventual reward rather than giving it to them immediately, game makers can make them want to play just a little bit longer. It's not just open crate, get spray, feel happy. Dopamine isn't released when you receive a reward, it's released when you do something that your brain anticipates will result in getting a reward. With loot boxes, the rewards you get are randomized, which means that suddenly your brain has something to anticipate, and more importantly, a reason to release dopamine. In the case of loot boxes, sunk costs is why they can be such a slippery slope. Once you've bought one and haven't gotten the item you were looking for, it's much more likely that you buy two. 3, 5, 10, until you finally get the item that you wanted. Exclusive loot, which puts a deadline on you making the decision to pay. If you want it, you gotta get it before it's gone forever. They're specifically trying to get you. They're studying the way you play, when you decide to make purchases, even when you get fed up and quit for the day, then suddenly tweaking your unique gaming experience in order for you to spend as much money as possible. It's all just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for paying. I, I mean, what?